here we go again and this guy's playing victim as he usually does let me give a little preference your man steve leo over here now do niggas in chicago still even say that he's entitled this live stream presentation smoking this tone space pack i don't know about y'all but don't that shit sound corny nowadays I mean, niggas that's outside of Chicago that still say that, like, 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 like I, I stopped fucking with that. That shit sound butt, you know what I mean? So, all right, granted, he's from Chicago, the home of where they started saying that, but do niggas in Chicago still say that shit? That shit gotta be played out by now, you know what I mean? It's lost its umph, like, uh, a year and a half ago and shit, right? Anyway, those niggas crying, playing victim. Now, let me give y'all some preface. Preface, right? We supposedly... Uh, I don't know, squash beef, that even sound corny. We supposed to, sp supposedly were amicable with each other um, for some time, right? Because uh, I was at odds with the person that this man is obsessed with, grossly obsessed with, right? So being that I was at odds with this individual, you know, this nigga's on some cool with me i mean he do want to be my friend in general you know he wishes that he had people that were like genuine people in his life because as he'll tell you oh nobody ever loved me people ain't shit everyone do me wrong and all that other shit so when you, you know you see somebody that's on some you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't say nothing special just on some regular shit you know it's gonna stand out to him because either one or two things either he don't have people close to him that are all on some regular shit that's good with him like that as per his own admission saying everybody's out for self and hate them and don't like them never love them and, every, and all that either that or he's such a pessimist that he dismisses those type of people he pushes those people away or he assumes that um people are way worse than who they really are probably as a defense mechanism because he had a rough upbringing and all that type of shit so it's probably a defense mechanism but you know it's like throwing the baby away with the bathwater. you end up uh, uh, flushing out, you know, some good. And out of those two options, I personally believe it is probably the secondary one. But this video is not a psychological breakdown on the, the steezter. Or <laughs> it's not supposed to be. So psychological breakdown portion done. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, we're supposed to be amicable, right? Um, I start dropping heat. Me and my shorter, we drop this skeleton sword. Shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? She came just like on some like dope shit, super dope shit. Long too. This is like about six minutes. I came, boom, back to back, ill punchlines, ill flow, all types of shit. Boom, shit, shit was just crazy. So this nigga hears it and, you know, he has a deep-seated jealousy and he has a deep-seated need for attention. He don't like when other people are getting attention or if someone regards someone else. No, look at me, I'm Styles. You know what I'm saying? He's Again, psychological breakdown again probably comes from childhood and not being given attention back in the day. Whatever the fuck his shit's going on, right? But, uh, so this nigga conjures up the notion that in that freestyle and in some other shit maybe I was doing, but definitely that freestyle he was referring to, that I was taking shots at him subliminally, right? I was not. Nothing in, in there was I saying I was taking shots at him, right? So he says I'm taking shots at him subliminally, but he won't call me out. He won't say his tone space that I'm talking to. So me being the direct person I am, I email him directly and say, yo, if you're talking about me, nah, B, it ain't me taking shots, not at all, boom, boom. I'll even break down the lines that you may consider that are a shot at you when I'll even explain that, which is offering a whole lot because I don't like to break down lines. I like, I like to leave it up to um, interpretation, shit like that, right? What's this nigga do? Denies it. He says, oh, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about this other nigga. Totally flat out says, no, I was not referring to you. Now, at the time, I knew he was talking about me. So I'm thinking to myself, why is this nigga bitching up? Why can't this nigga just be like, yeah, you were and let's, you know what I mean? So he denies that he was even talking about me, right? When I asked him directly. Uh, So I was just, to, I'm just like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I keep it the fuck pushing. Not beefing with him or anything. Not talking shit about him. Nothing like that. And, um... He keeps start. He keeps saying that I'm taking shots at him, and now he finally admits that all along he was talking about me. So it's almost like him admitting that he bitched up when I approached him. Air quotes up when I approached him directly about the taking shots allegation or whatever. So it's like he admits that he bitched up and folded and said, "No, I wasn't talking about you." 
hindsight, retroactively, by him then uh, reaffirming that he was talking about me and still saying I'm taking shots at him. I'm not taking shots at this nigga. And then um, shout out to NSLN. These some dope ass producers. I'm gonna get back on their beats. That's 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 my primary lyrical uh thing right now is to get back on those beats because they be sending me heat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get back on them. Um, I dropped like fire off with with, with those guys tracks like concept shit sh fire go to the main tone space channel look for anything that says produced by nsln um them dudes are are, are amazing right so i start dropping fire so now this nigga starts saying i'm biting him because remember he's gotta be the only nigga within a blast radius of being dope like no one else could be dope around him he's got to be the center of attention psychologically going back to childhood not getting attention yada yada whatever right so um i'm there like uh i'm just dropping fire with these niggas so this nigga still say oh i'm copying him and i do a silly ass face like a, a mean mug ug, ug mug face for a cover of one of the songs that i'm doing not even an sln joint but a cover for something else um you know just making a quick off the cuff silly expression this nigga says i'm trying to copy his facial expressions because it had a bit of a scowl this nigga's bugged out b so even still I, i'm still for the most part i think i did respond i think i did a freestyle or two addressing him a video or two addressing him and breaking down how he folded and said i wasn't taking shots and then went back on that you know just affirming the fact that this nigga's just coming at me for his own paranoia or he knows better and is just doing it just because he wants the attention or something i don't know but i did address it at that time right so a little so a little more time goes by I'm still leaving shit alone, you know what I mean? But I do tap into his show. I would admit that. Cut. Why? Because he's often bringing me up. So I'm like, all right, let me let me, let me see if I can find the tone space or real life is not in cyberspace reference because he brings uh, my girl up too, right? So some time goes by. I get into it with another cat, right? I don't even say names or whatever. I get into it with another cat. And at the same time, I'm, I'm checking Brian vlogs. He's knocking out songs every day, making a beat live and everything. So I get inspired. I'm like, word, it's been a while since I hit the boards and made a beat. So I make a beat, do a song to it. In the song, I'm kind of, well, yeah, I'm going at another dude in one of the verses. Somebody else, not Steez, right? Not thinking about any motherfucking Steez. This nigga Ralph Bottles and Steez get into it. Steez comes back talking some shit about New York and saying New York is dirty and this in New York, shit like that. So a troll goes into Steez's chat room and says that I just made a song that is defending Ralph Bottles and New York and dissing Steez, right? And this nigga just takes it at face value. He just believes it. He is troll fooled if there ever was any. This, this, you know trolls will never starve as long as this nigga's around so this nigga just believes it so i start poking fun at his uh aloofness at his stupidity at his puppeteer ability to be controlled by motherfuckers and i'm like yo this nigga just don't get it the thing that he don't get is that i wasn't talking about this motherfucker you know what i mean i'm chilling i'm on some old other shit you know what i'm saying so you know I start, you know, poking fun about that, but, you know, that's about it, and then, um, a little while goes after that, I'm like, all right, everything, everything just kind of settled down, so I'm just chilling, shit like that, right, what happened after that, um, and yeah, then, then the next thing you know, he's, uh, yeah, 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 I know what happened, he, he brought up my girl, he, he started talking about her, some shit that she might have said about him well over a year ago, she don't be talking about this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Well over a year ago, at a time when I guess they, you know, when, when, when we were at conflict with the dude, right? Long time ago. I guess something she said about him and his girl and their family thing or whatever, whatever they got going on. So this nigga Steve starts, starts talking uh, disrespectful about her, right? So then I do a video. I'm like, yo, fuck is uh, you on, B? And then you get mad. And I, I told him in the video, I said, yo, then you get mad when niggas reply to you. Niggas be leaving you alone. Everything be cool. And then you just come out your mouth on some, on some stupid shit. Niggas ain't thinking about you. Niggas ain't even acknowledging you or anything like that. The most I do is tap into his shit to see if I get a reference. Which I admit uh, to really 
uh, eliminate someone from someone's conscience. I shouldn't even be doing that. I'm not going to act like I'm not at fault for doing that. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. But um, the point is, niggas ain't talking about him. She sure ain't talking about him. I wasn't talking about him. Everything is whatever, right? Now, he did a thing yesterday. I didn't even know he replied to that in the comment section because I be noticing a lot of times people uh, reply and um, I don't see it. Like, the comments be ghosted. I don't got this nigga blocked, nothing like that. But that happens a lot. Chat, the, the, the comments will say, I got five comments and I can only see, like, two of them shits. Even if I go to YouTube Studio, I can't see it. So, um... I didn't even know that this nigga replied. He, you know, he replied to that video. I would have addressed him right then and there if I'd have saw that reply. So, no, I didn't even see that reply. It don't show up on my end for whatever reason. You know, I guess uh, my side of YouTube don't like Steve. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he says something like, oh, you looking for an argument, yada, yada. I'm like, how am I looking for an argument when you are bringing me up? You bring up real life is not in cyberspace. That's the equivalent of bringing me up. Just like if you bring her up. If you bring me up, that's the equivalent of bringing her up. That's what it is right there. You feel me? So, and then, and even that, I'm like, uh, eh, whatever. Now, you know, at this point, I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll probably drop another song on them. You know, it, it, it's it's the thing I do. I, I like to do it. I don't got to talk shit back to you. I just drop a joint on you. Again, it's not because I'm trying to battle. I'm not trying to get your validation. I'm not trying to do nothing. You know what I'm doing? I'm having fun just uh ranking on your ass you know what i mean but then add a little more to that um this nigga is doing um a live stream like what two days ago three days ago uh shout out to some guy named jay i see that him up in the chat room now the day before i did like a an off the cuff one take of spitting one of my long verses that i did or whatever whatever shit fires on the tone space channel right <laughs> So I see some guy named Jay in the chat room, right? And he's saying something. It sounds like he's uh, he he's basically acknowledging. He said that he appreciated or he liked the live stream that Steez did right before this particular live stream that Jay was on. And he said in the he liked that live stream where Steez was breaking down or talking bad about the verse that I just did. Now, mind you, I'm not saying anything about this nigga. I'm leaving this nigga alone. Why the fuck are you doing a whole live stream uh, saying anything about my verse in a disparaging way if you don't like it when niggas come at you? You know what I mean? Point being, the, the, the common thread among this whole timeline is I be trying to leave your ass alone and you get out of, out of line. And that's why in that uh, Bingham song, I said something. I made some guy named Jay Shiver because he said something about shivering in, in the... You know, Jay did. You know, he, he was kind of like saying that the shit was trash or whatever, or he didn't like it or something like that. However, um, I don't got no issue with Jay. Like, the, the line I say after that is that Steez's chat room or something is a squad of gay niggas. I wasn't necessarily trying to say that Jay was one of those gay niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I actually met him. He's cool, everything. You know, niggas got opinions, whatever, whatever. So, if you hear this, don't take that line as that. I was just acknowledging, you know, kind of just letting you know, like, yeah, I see you, nigga. I see you. <laughs> I know what's going on. You know what I mean? But I wasn't trying to lump you in with them gay ass niggas that be topping this nigga off every second that, that they could get. Right. So. That's about it. So, yeah, when I come, you know, and I just. Oh, and this nigga. Right. This nigga saying that I'm desperate because I used what he calls the, the Harley Quinn beat. You did not pay for that beat. You know what I mean? You did, you did not pay for that beat. He says that I'm desperate for using a beat that he happened to use. But check this out. Just yesterday, um, he was replying to a freestyle that I did. I did a fucking freestyle. Shit was dope or whatever. And this nigga's gonna play the... Now, now he knows it's a fucking freestyle, right? But, you know, this is how he tries to manipulate people. And, you know, he, he does desperate shit to get people on his side. So he knows this shit's a freestyle. This nigga's going to play some of my freestyle and then play one of his written songs at, and try to make a comparison. Now, quite honestly, I still think my freestyle is better than that written shit you played because you sound stiff. You sound rigid. You just sound trash. It don't matter how many punchlines you could string together back to back. That shit is trash. Right. So freestyle still wins. But. If you want to, I was looking at that shit. I'm like, now nah, this is some desperate shit. That is some desperate shit right there. You're going to play my freestyle and compare it to your written trash. <laughs> so, yeah, you ain't the one to be talking about desperate. But uh, 
Again, I'm not trying to battle you. I don't give a fuck. I'm having fun. I'm talking about your ass. Oh, and another thing. This nigga, he's, he's trying to reply to the Bingham joint. But he will not. He, it seems like he's totally evading and avoiding the little addition I added to the beat. The uh, eat Bingham. He's not bringing that part up because he knows if he acknowledges that part that I embedded into the beat. I ain't gonna say it totally, but you know what I'm talking about. If you listen to it, he knows if he acknowledges that, then that means he has to acknowledge a particular video that he has dismissed. And he himself said, yo, anybody you post is my girl. Uh, that He said something to this capacity. I don't want to quote him wrong, but something like this. He said, yeah, that, that joint with that, with that black uh, motherfucker walking across the thing, graduating. You say that's my girl. That's my girl, too. So this... <laughs> So this nigga even dismissed that that video. Proud, wonderful moment. She achieving her accomplishments, doing her thing. Shout out to her for all that. But this nigga would not even acknowledge that. You know, a proud wonder, like my girl said, a proud, wonderful moment. You should have been there for her. Not dismissing it, talking about this black, the video with that black motherfucker graduating. Come on, B. But he will like, not acknowledge that part of the beat because he knows... <laughs> that 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 would have to you know you would have to acknowledge the other shit so uh yeah let's, let's hear a little bit what this stupid motherfuckers talk about but i'm not i'm gonna cut the grass in a few minutes oh yeah he said he was gonna freestyle see i'd be skimming i was hoping this nigga freestyles because this nigga when he truly freestyles it is comedy that shit is hilarious. He's going to say uh, repeating lines. He'll say stuff like he really feels like sucking dick. Or that he has this other freestyle line that he always goes to. What do I have? What's it go? I was telling Shorty about it um, yesterday. How'd it go? How's it go? Um, when I step into the room, the men start holding dick. He said that shit on three different uh, alleged freestyles. Mr. I meant to say. Mr. Repeat every line. Uh, gifted like the last week in December is fourth week, whatever the fuck, right? He said that on at least three different occasions. He said when he steps inside a room, men start holding dick. So, Mr. Steezer, why, do, why would men start holding dick? Or why would you picture men start holding dick when you walk into a room? And whose dicks are these men holding, sir? Are they holding their own? Are they holding yours? And why would you let their hand so close to your crotch region for them to hold your dick, sir, if they are holding yours? Why are you thinking this? Why are you like pretty niggas with big dicks? We, 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 we could unravel that onion and go into your whole, you know, fruity ass shit. But we'll, yeah, so that's what this nigga does when he freestyles and it's comedy. It's pure comedy. So uh, I'm going to skim through this a little later. I'm going to see if he freestyles. That'll be wonderful. You know, he likes to lie and, you know, claim written as freestyles. When he really freestyles, that shit is mad funny. That's how much I'm moved by what the fuck. Like, nigga, I'm about to do lawn work. You know, that's why I got on my raggedy Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Got on my fucked up lawn shoes, bro. Like, man, I don't know, man. Like I said, like, to me, if you wasn't such a bitch-ass nigga, it would almost be flattering. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, dude, why you keep rapping to me, bro? Like, Because you keep talking shit when I be ignoring your ass. If I said you's a whack rapper, recording a bunch of songs day by day ain't going to make me change that opinion. Especially, You don't have that opinion, sir. You sweat me. You recognize uh, that I'm better than you. That's why you always have to say shit like, nobody's fucking with me. Nobody's fucking with me. You know, these are affirmations. These are things people say when they want to convince themselves of something. Not only try to convince yourself by affirming it over, nobody's fucking with me, nobody's fucking with me. Um, the niggas, the, the, the peanut gallery that be typing in your chat room, you try to convince them. And what do they do? Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? If you're not improving, bro, and you, you're being motivated by my responses to you, you're not being motivated by bars, you're being motivated to, by disregard. That no, it's not disregard when you bring someone up. Disregard is not saying shit about a motherfucker. Disregard is like I was doing to you. I ain't gonna say I disregarded you when we were allegedly amicable, but I sure wasn't trying to take a shot at you as you claimed. And then after you flipped out again on your dumb shit, then I disregarded you by not saying or bringing you up. That is disregard. You talking about me and, and my girl and uh, reviewing freestyles and trying to find um, or reviewing raps that I do and talking shit about it. That is not disregard. That is acknowledgement. That is uh, 
sweating a motherfucker. That makes you even more weak, bro. If somebody, come on, it's too many rappers in this motherfucker, too many lovers of rap. If I'm wrong, please tell me. I will apologize to you. He knows that, see, this is how much he knows he got y'all niggas in line. Now, y'all in the chat room, peep this. Just know this, that this goes how much toppery that y'all do to this nigga. So much that he knows he could even challenge y'all to call out his bullshit, and he knows that y'all not gonna do it. He knows he got y'all so trained. So just think that right there. Him saying, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, that's him dissing y'all niggas. You and to this person if I am misinformed, but somebody let me know. Now, I come from the old school era of motherfucking battle rhyme. You know what I'm saying? And that does translate to this URL shit. It's about the bars. If you keep coming back at a nigga who's ignoring you, who you... But you've not been ignoring me, sir. You've been talking shit. Already said that, that nigga... Which is cool. It's cool. You, you talk shit. I have my fun. I do my little songs. I don't really have a problem with it, to be honest. It's just don't try to... After the fact, try to paint it as something else. Like, I'm sweating you. At least acknowledge it for what the fuck it is. You talk your shit, I reply artistically. Got me with that. How many more songs do I need to make? If I'm saying to your ass, you want to battle me, let's have a real fucking battle where the crowd decides. You keep coming at me with this ego shit, nigga. Now you lying. Multiple times, I've attempted to have a real battle with you where the crowd decides. Uh, Captain Picard, if he sees this, he can attest to this. One time I was like breaking down the blueprint to him around the time when you did the vengeance and I did the is mine. I wanted to have a battle between those two songs. So I was trying to structure it and everything. B dub a long time ago proposed a battle and, and said he'll do it on his platform on some neutral shit and tried to set the shit up. You declined. You said, nah multiple occasions when 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 you put them open battles out you know what i'm saying oh if anyone want to battle boom i jump in the joint and right away you try you, you, you sideline you try to get weasel your way up out of it why would i battle you no, no, no. Well, what the fuck you giving an open challenge for so no you are the one that be ducking battles niggas done figured out how to get the bread up and you know where, where neither where, where we could have a crowdsource thing and all that shit niggas done try to do every which way of a battle you know what I'm saying? And you decline. Yo, feelings is hurt. Somebody tell me when I'm wrong. You don't want the crowd to judge. You just want some type of like, I don't know, submission from me. Bro, it don't work like that. You're not dope enough. We could put the song I just did now, Bingham, against any of your shits. That you got supposedly that you got dissing me and the crowd could judge you. Oh yeah, another thing. I actually talking about not wanting the crowd to judge. I remember I did a video with your vengeance shit, and my reply is mine. I did a video with both of those songs and I asked the crowd which one they like better. You took offense. You you had an issue with that. You like, why are you doing that? Mr. Let's have the crowd decide and open to the crowd deciding. No. You talk that shit, but your actions don't back it up. My actions match everything that I say. Plain and fucking simple. Bro, and I'm going to say this shit real motherfucking conversation, and you ain't figured it out yet. And I hate being like this, man, but the truth of the matter is, nigga, you couldn't handle Brian vlogs, bro. Shut the fuck up. You went on an extended exchange with Brian. Nigga, I've never... I went on extended ex exchange with any and everybody. I went on extended exchanges with niggas that don't even rap. It's, it's what I do. It's what I enjoy doing. What does Brian Vlogs have to do with, with anything you're talking about? Never said nothing lyrically to Brian Vlogs, bro. Yeah, because you can't. <laughs> Brian Vlogs songs are better than yours. You could hear the enjoyment when he makes a song. Plus, he, can, he does the whole thing. He makes the beat and, and, and the rhymes. You know what I'm saying? He has fun. You, you could hear the enjoyment. You listen to his shit. Whatever you want to say about it, kitty bop or whatever, your shit is dull. The, your voice is dull. The mastering quality is, is abhorrent. You know what I'm saying? You do say punchlines. Yes, you know how to say a bunch of punchlines together, but you don't know how to deliver it where, people, where it's going to stick to people and they're going to want to keep hearing it.
You play your shit, niggas be like, turn that shit off. They want to hear you spaz. They want to hear you stalk a nigga. They want to hear that type of shit. So when your shows, niggas hit the mute button when the music comes on. Or if it's the replay, they skip through that. Mad times, it'd be like, I'd be like skimming through your shit. <laughs> and it'd be like, oh no, we got to turn, even shorty, like sometimes she'll have to remind me. She's like, oh, can you please turn that shit off or skip through that? <laughs> and all your shit sound the same. So, uh, I don't know why you're bringing Brian vlogs up, but I don't even think that, that, that you could, uh, fuck with him. Any one of you niggas feel compelled to say something to that nigga, you are completely the fuck out of your entire stratosphere. See, he's trying to talk down to him or whatever, whatever. But you don't realize your shit is trash. You're saying some shit to me. Your ego towards that whack ass shit that... Listen, anybody in the crowd, if I'm talking out of turn, I'm talking wrong... I'm saying anything that's not motherfucking 100%. See, he's dissing y'all. He knows that he got y'all so trained. He knows ain't nobody gonna say a peep. Let me, I'm not bullshitting. You won't be blocked. None of that old shit. So anyway, man, I ain't gonna keep doing this shit. It's just it's already going on. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, springtime about to blend and turn into summer. Whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Have fun and prosper. All right, peace.